Over 8,000 marijuana convictions in San Francisco dismissed with help from a computer algorithm. Uh, just dismiss all of these convictions. Uh, technology meets law and order to help dismiss thousands of marijuana-related convictions dating back to 1975 in San Francisco. The San Francisco attorney, uh, District Attorney's Office uh, announced on Monday that 8,132 convictions will be dismissed thanks to a computer algorithm that automatically scanned court records. This makes San Francisco the first county in the country to complete the automated marijuana record clearance process, said a statement from the office of uh, San Francisco District Attorney George uh, Gasson. Uh, the DA's office teamed up with Code for America, a nonprofit company using technology to improve the government, uh, to develop the computer program to identify cases that are eligible for dismissal since California passed a law in 2016 allowing recreational marijuana use. Uh, since that law, Proposition 64 passed, people whose past crimes would now not be penalized in the same way could petition to have their convictions overturned or reduced from a felony to a misdemeanor, but it was up to the individual to petition the court on their own, a process that could be both time-consuming and costly. In 2018, only 23 people in San Francisco filed petitions, according to so Gasson. Almost, almost no one. So basically, this technology just <laughs> enabled them to go through and just get rid of 8,000 yeah, of these awesome, fucking dude. stupid convictions I that mean, never should have happened in the first we, place. We don't cover many positive stories, but that's awesome that they were able to fucking just get rid of or expunge those 8,000 convictions. For a bunch of chimps, dude. Yeah. Fucking, like, for years, we've sent people to jail for smoking a plant that comes up out of the ground. Or selling it. Or selling it, or trafficking it. Just ridiculous. It's a demon. It's a demon. Now plant. It's, the demon drug. Now it's legal and properly regulated and, you know, helping fund other things in California. Instead of just going to fucking, <clears throat> fucking safe. You know what I mean? Handwritten menus trick people into thinking they're eating healthier, study claims. <laughs> That's awesome, Because some dude. love and personal touch went into this food. Nothing says home cooking like good handwriting. Restaurants that use a menu typeface with a human touch have a better shot at appealing to health-conscious customers, a new study uh, out of the Ohio State University finds. Uh, when menus appear to be handwritten as opposed to printed up in a standard font, diners believe the food will be better for their bodies. Researchers offered uh, the study's 185 participants two different menus for a made-up restaurant called Riley's Kitchen, one done uh, up in the popular font Helvetica and the other in a folksier, scribbly typeface. Half of the patrons were told the restaurant featured locally grown, non-GMO, antibiotic-free ingredients, and the rest were just handed a menu. Across the board, the would-be diners who ranged from... Uh, age 20 to 84, felt that the latter option corresponded with healthier food, even though the actual menu items were identical. That's because an attractive scrawl feels to the customer uh, like there is more heart, more effort, and more love in it. Yep. Just like Paul knew at the beginning. Yep. Um, yeah, so the, it, it's just basically a, a little, another little cognitive bias that has been discovered in human beings. Where we feel like, oh, it's it looks handwritten. Oh, it, now it's it must be healthier, and it's more made with more love. But it's more minute. personal Tenderness. to you then, because you're, you know it's like it's like you're right. It's almost like you're reading like someone's handwriting. Like someone wrote this. You're like, this is the thing. Well, that somebody I have. did write it. What? Like a lot of these hand that they're talking about hand. Well, I guess they. Can well, they're talking. They're talking about a, a in they, this they particular case. They're talking about a typeface yeah, that typeface. looks handwritten. It looks yeah. handwritten, right? Which there's plenty of those out there. But, <laughs> but, the, but you can see that in a lot of restaurants too. They have a specials menu. You know what I mean? It'll right. be written, and you'd be like, "Yeah, it's kind of cool." Yeah, they, or you see some up on the board. You know, like they're showing here. But yeah, I, I thought I thought it was funny. Wait a minute, are you telling me that health conscious people are stupid, just like the rest of us? Yes. yes. Wow. Why do they always talk like they're smarter than everybody in the fucking room? I don't know. They're just a bunch of dumb chimps that fall for like, it's we made fancy. it look like it's handwritten, so you Dude, assume it's better for you, you I dumb mean, fucks. I think, I think all of us, I, I can speak for all of us here, when most of us go eat something, I mean, it's you, our, our, and the foremost thought in our minds is not how healthy is it, it's like how uh, delicious is it. I know but exactly how healthy something is. Meanwhile, in, in unimportant news, um, iceberg twice the size of New York City is set to break away from... Um, uh, come on, TJ. This is that's boring. Can why are you Why are you interrupting our banter about the uh, the the previous thing with this yeah, nonsensical TJ, 
Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I figured... Trip down a fucking uh, rabbit hole to nowhere, TJ. Right. I'm so sick running. of this boring yeah, uh, I mean, well, fucking uh, bullshit. Yeah, it's just like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, you're right. Uh, uh, my bad. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, okay I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boo! Uh, it is actually time to wrap up the show, so uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching Flash Fried. Sorry for that totally irrelevant iceberg twice the size of New York City is set to break you away from Antarctica apologize. story. That's a terrible story you pulled. I can't even believe I would pull that. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. I'm don't so don't sorry. I don't care, TJ. I'm so, don't, don't, yeah. don't do it. Don't, yeah, Scotty. Yeah. Don't do it, Scotty. Scotty, come I'm on, please. Too. Come back. Done too, too, hey, man. guys. Guys. Oh, I'm done. Done. I should have known better. I'm sorry, everybody. My bad. My bad.